Conflict develops between little Philip North and his teacher at the Catholic school that he attends. His teacher insists that he use his legal name, which stays North even after his mother marries Beardsley. As a result, Helen and Frank start talking about adopting each other's kids, who are horrified at the idea of reburying their dead biological parents, except for Philip. Thank you. Philip? You didn't sign your paper properly. Your name is Philip North. I'm Philip Beardsley. We all went to church when we were all married. I'm Philip Beardsley. No, dear, not legally. And we must sign our legal names in school, mustn't we? Beardsley. No, I no, no, here as fast as I could, Sister Mary. What is it this time? Why don't you ask Philip? Philip? Darling, what happened? Nothing. Who did that to you? One of the kids. She started. She says I'm not legal. What? And Mike isn't my brother. Of course he's your brother. And my name is Philip Beardsley. Philip North. There she goes again. Sister, couldn't you, uh, couldn't you just call him Philip Beardsley? I'm sorry, but the school requires that we use their legal names. Let's go to another school. You know what I'd like for Christmas? What? Don't buy me anything. The most expensive gift in the world is when the wife says, don't buy me anything. Look, if we didn't give each other Christmas gifts. And if we didn't get the new car, and we cut down on the, all oh, the little things, you know, the things we don't really need, the little luxuries, couldn't we afford to adopt our kids? Thank you, Dad. Oh, would you put these back there, please? Could you decide something like that without asking us? Colleen, we thought you children would be happy to be adopted. Happy to forget our real father's name? And to get lost in a jungle full of Beardsleys? Uh, just a minute. Mother, that's the most awful thing I've ever heard. He's hardly been gone a year, and you're trying to wipe him out of your life as if he never existed. And, and I thought you loved him. Oh, you be quiet. Uh, no, I don't want any dessert. I'll take his. Sorry, I didn't think I was committing a federal offense. I th thought they'd want me for a father. Yeah, well, now you know what they think of you. Oh, stay out of it. It's their problem. Now, wait a minute, Rosemary. It's not just their problem. I was planning on adopting all you children, too. Was that part of the deal? Yes. Of course, I thought everybody understood that. We want this to be one family. Excuse me. What's the matter with him? What do you think? I gotta do my homework. Homework? He's really shook. Why shouldn't he be? We loved our mother just as much as they loved their father. I know that, Rosemary. And now you're asking us to bury her again? Who's getting buried? Shh. Mom will get you washed. Excuse me. I can't eat if everybody's gonna cry. Frank, how could we have been so wrong? I feel like a murderer. <laughs> 